Are you suffering from writer's block? Or how about artist's block? Or any other type of block? Do you need some inspiration to get you back at your game? Or to finish that concept your client needs right away? Or are you just a creative type that needs a little spark of inspiration? We've all been there, including myself. As a writer and artist, it's always tough coming up with some ideas to hurdle us over that block, either for something you're writing or tackling a nagging concept art or painting, etc. You're in luck! If you haven't already heard about it, there's this little muse. Well, I like calling it a muse. It's called Mid Journey. Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to my channel, Muse It or Lose It. My name is Art, and I hope to inspire you into starting a new project, or finishing up a project you so desperately need finishing that uh, you've put it on hold for a long time. I mean, I still have things that I've put on hold since I was in 6th grade. What's your muse? Is it getting out of the house and driving with your favorite music playing on the radio? Or reading the newspaper or watching the news to get some ideas for that crime novel you're writing? Is it sitting on a bench at the mall watching people interact with each other? Whatever it is, that's your muse. I created this channel at the spur of the moment when I messed around with a bot called Midjourney after not getting anywhere with the story I wanted to write. Thanks to Midjourney, I've now come up with an amazing storyline and ending, plus I've created concepts to characters within my story. And they're incredible. What is Midjourney? Midjourney is an AI platform used through Discord to help you generate drawings, paintings, logos, and the list goes on. I created the logo and banner for my YouTube channel, Muse It or Lose It, with Midjourney, as you can see here. I couldn't have done it without it in such a fast turnaround, like seconds. There are endless possibilities with Midjourney. It's where your mind can take you. You know that saying, the sky's the limit? Well, this is it. Well, for some time, that is, until something else comes. The cool thing about Midjourney, being on Discord, is that you can also generate prompts on your mobile device. So if you're on the go, it's helpful. You'll also hear a bell notification when your prompt is finished so you can check them. As you've seen already, there are many generated images that you, yourself, can create just by simple command prompts. Let's say you want a flower that looks like a snake. Here it is! How about a red sky with green rain? Well, you see what happened here? Sometimes you need to be specific. Other times, the AI finds the right spot. You do need a good idea of what you want though. To use Midjourney, you need to log in or create an account with Discord. I had to do that because, look, I didn't even know what Discord was. But look, it, it's free to join, but Midjourney is a subscription-based platform, ranging from $10 a month to $30 a month. I think it's worth it for people like myself who need this uh, as an inspiration. I've already conjured up a few awesome concepts. Check these out. Midjourney does give you a trial run of a handful of prompts to get you started. And if you like what you see, and trust me, you will. You just subscribe to whatever tier you like. I chose the $30 per month because you get unlimited generations and I generate a lot since my prompts don't come out right or the way I envisioned it. And trust me, you're going to go through a lot of prompts. Once you get signed up, just head on over to one of the general generating rooms to the left side of the screen and you'll be on your way to making great art that you write up. And if you're a newbie, uh, that means that if you want to do the trial run, just click on the newbies section because it won't allow you to do it on the general section until you sign up. Like I've said, not all of the generated images come out the way you planned, so you will need to rewrite your prompts and there are several ways to go about them. For me, I also like to film, so knowing film terms would be great, but it's not necessary. I also like to mess around with a free 3D program called Blender, which you can download. And the cool thing about Blender is that there are tutorials on YouTube all over the place that teach these people how to do wonderful things with it. And you can learn it right away too. And like I said, it's free. So, you know, there's people out there who like to teach people for free. So check it out, Blender. Okay, now let's go back to Midjourney. Take for instance, I want to generate a monster lurking in the spooky woods. 
but I want it to look like it was shot in the studio. So here's what I generated and the prompts I wrote. To get started, you need to type the symbol forward slash. And right after that, you need to type imagine. And after that, you're free to write whatever you want. So it's basically like coding. Okay, here's my prompt. A studio setting with three point lighting setup. A strange humanoid creature with long tentacles booming in through the wooded area. There's a fog throughout. Hard lighting hits the creature from the back, causing a silhouette and god rays. It's an eerie and ominous feeling. It's raining. Here's the results. You get four to choose from, or you can spin it again to get four more results. You can also choose from the four you like, or you can choose a variation of the ones you like to get another rendition. Okay, now let's try the prompts again using the same text, but add in a little more to the end to make it more realistic. As you can see, I typed in the whole thing, and at the end I put hyper-realistic, ultra-realism, photorealism, and Arnold Render. Arnold is a 3D program, and you can use anything um, that renders, like Unreal Engine 5 render, Maya 3D render. The AI isn't really rendering in those programs, it's mimicking the render from those results. But the thing is, it's outstanding. It actually looks really, really real. Okay, here are the results from the second version. As you can see, it's a little bit more realistic. And I clicked on one that I liked, and here's the results for the upscaled version. As you can see, there's a lot more detail. So when you click on an upscale, the quality becomes better. I'm not going to lie to you. There are a lot of prompts that help you to get different results. The cool thing about the prompts is you can see other people's prompts to see what they generated and use their prompts to help your images. There is a website out there called promptmania.com where they list an amazing assortment of prompts that automatically copy once you click on it so you don't have to. And you keep scrolling and building these prompts and it'll give you a button that creates all of the prompts in one algorithm for you to copy and paste into Midjourney. It's really helpful and the people who created that are geniuses. Visit them for ideas. I've left a link to their website. Here's something I generated with them. Grandma got run over by a reindeer in crayon by this artist. It takes a while to generate depending on the quality you choose. Now one thing about Midjourney is that you're not the only one creating props. So your image will be pushed up and you're going to have to scroll and look for it. But the cool thing is that your prompt is colored in brown so you can find it easier. If you do lose your prompt, you can always find it on your Midjourney Discord page. All the generations that you created are right there. So I will end it here and let you mess around with it and get your spark of inspiration going. Just head on over to Midjourney, I left the link at the bottom, and either join the beta or sign in to your Discord, or create one if you don't have a Discord, and you'll be on your way creating what your mind thinks up. If you like what you saw, give me a like and subscribe. My goal is to inspire a lot more people with this channel, either through Midjourney or other means. Enjoy creating, whether it be writing, drawing, painting, acting, making movies, whatever you wish. Don't stop believing. Create. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And if you've generated some mid-journey creations, leave them down below. I'd like to see them. Alright, this is Art signing off. Use it or lose it. <laughs>